clicking the card, you can see your copyright strikes together with detailed information about the impacted videos, like the specific content in your video that was identified by the claimant in the takedown notice, and the actions you can take to resolve the strikes. You can also address your copyright strikes and any content ID claims from your video library. You can filter your video library for just videos that have copyright claims by selecting the Copyright Claims filter. This filter will show both videos that have copyright strikes and videos that have content ID claims. Next, hover over the Restrictions column. This will give you info on what happened, and you can click into it to open up the Copyright Summary and Status. For a copyright takedown, which results in a copyright strike, you'll see details about the impact the strike has on your channel, along with the video's visibility and monetization status. From here, you can also take action against this strike by choosing to contact the claimant or submit a counter notification. For a content ID claim, which doesn't result in a copyright strike, you'll see details about the claim's impact on your channel and the video's visibility and monetization status. You'll also see the content being claimed, including the time code it appears at and the impact the claim has on your video. From this view, you can also take relevant actions to resolve the claim. You can dispute it, or you can choose to edit out the claimed content. You can trim out the claimed part of your video, which will automatically release the claim. If a song was claimed in your video, you can also choose to replace or mute the song. Any of these edits will keep your original video URL and views intact. Check out other videos in our YouTube Studio series here.